In this video, I'll be talking about modes of assessment. The assessments are categorized into two modes. First is the traditional assessment, and the second is the alternative assessment. Traditional assessment refers to the use of objective paper and pencil test, either selecting an answer or supplying information. Or in other words, objective supply and objective selection. Objective supply is free response, such as identification, completion test, enumeration, labeling test, and closed test. While objective selection is having limited response, such as multiple choice, matching type, true or false, rearrangement of objects. So what are the strengths and weaknesses of traditional assessment? So for the strength, it can cover a lot of material. Fair, they will answer same sets of questions. Effective in assessing declarative knowledge of content and easier to score or administer than performance assessments. While for its weakness, it is time consuming to prepare, easy for students to cheat, guess, or bluff, encourages rote memory than the deep understanding, less effective in assessing procedural knowledge and creative thinking and construction of good higher level recognition items is difficult. Now for the second mode of assessment, the alternative assessment. There are three types of this. Performance-based assessment, portfolio assessment, and authentic assessment. So let's talk about the performance-based assessment. This requires actual demonstration of skills or creation of products or both. Either process or performance based or product based or both. Used if specific behavioral outcome are to be observed. So what are the strengths and weaknesses of performance based assessment? For the strength, it can assess complex learning targets that cannot be measured by objective tests. It elicits higher order thinking skill and other domains of learning. It's effective for assessing application of knowledge, skill, and procedural, procedural learning or creative learning. It can evaluate both the process and the product. Focus is also in doing, not only in knowing and may utilize group dynamics. While its weakness, it's time consuming to administer and to score. It's hard to score fairly, scoring may be biased. Availability of resources, facilities, or materials. Additional cost is inevitable. Learners may not create their own products or projects. Effectivity of group dynamics is crucial, and it is burdensome to create or prepare for students. Another type of alternative assessment is portfolio assessment. It's a process of gathering multiple indicators of student progress to support course goals. It's an exhibit of students' efforts, creativity, progress, merits, and achievements in one or more areas. It shows the cumulative achievement over time and it highlights performance-based activities over year. Let's talk about the strengths and weaknesses of a portfolio assessment. For its strength, it showcases an ongoing curriculum and what has been done inside the class. It's an evidence that school goals are being met and proof of teachers' accomplishments across the curriculum. It shows students' accomplishments, strengths and weaknesses, talents, skills, involvement, participation. 
It promotes student self-evaluation, reflection, critical thinking, and flexibility. Parents are given an opportunity to react and will gain insight to what their child is doing in school. For its weakness, it's time-consuming and burdensome to make. It may require storage space, and it's hard and time-consuming to score fairly. Now let's move to the third type of alternative assessment, the authentic assessment. It refers to the use of methods that stimulate or reflect true-to-life situations. This could be objective tests that reflect real-life situations or alternative methods that are parallel to what we experience in real life. Assess students' ability to use what they have learning in tasks similar to those in the outside world. It is considered as best assessment if it can assess authentic skills, but there is no best single assessment technique. You have to remember that all authentic assessments are performance-based, but not all performance-based are authentic assessment. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned something from this lesson.